is gonna be a completely different video than what you guys are used to. We're gonna be breaking down the little Yachty. What's the song name? I think it's called Cold Sunday. A Cold Sunday. This video right here, I'm sure you guys have seen the music video. The song is crazy, I love it. Anyways, we're gonna be recreating this right here. Now you guys are probably gonna think, wow, I could just split a video into five different parts and call it a day. Nah, I'm actually gonna be filming myself in five different positions and then showing you guys how you throw it together in the edit and how you can get the super crazy color grid that I did in the video. My boy AMD Visuals absolutely shitted, I mean snapped on that video. It matches the aesthetic perfectly and I'm gonna be recreating it today in my living room. I'm in a new apartment, by the way. Um, yeah, so let's get to it. I'm gonna be using my tripod. This isn't my actual tripod. My actual tripod is in the trunk of my car, which I do not wanna get. This is my very first tripod that's half broken. Just to show you guys that you do not need an expensive tripod to do this. I don't even think I have the mount for it, so I think the camera is actually just gonna be sitting on it. So let's go and set this up in my living room here. That is so overexposed. All right, boom. I'm putting you guys right here for a second. What we're gonna do to create this effect is I'm gonna put the chair like here, like Yami did. All right, now we're on my countertop. We might be able to do it without the tripod on my countertop. Yeah, we can definitely, we're definitely gonna figure this out without a tripod. Fuck a tripod, you don't even need a tripod. This shit's broken. Who needs a tripod? We're gonna grab this little electrical thing right here and we're gonna prop my lens up. That's too big. What can we use? Let's use a protein bar here. Prop our lens up just like so. That is actually perfect. Sick. Now that the lens is propped up and we have our seat right here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna film five different creative angles of this exact shot here. We can quickly go over the ones that Yachty used in the video. I'm gonna pull them up super fast on my phone. The video is pretty much a one take split into five different scenes. The film color grade on it. I know AMD Visual shoots on an FX6 and an FX3, so this is an S-Log3, it's very similar. All Sony cameras, by the way, for you guys that don't know. So it seems like one is a straight on shot, one is torso. We're gonna do this a little bit differently. So let's start and do it. Starting off with the very first shot here, I'm gonna pretend I'm rapping right now. So it's a cold Sunday. Sunday is very cold. My name is Tiny Tapes. That is with a capital T because the T is tapes. You know my boy tapes the tape. That is terrible. <laughs> Anyways, first shot is done, hell yeah. Cool. Now let's do our very second shot. What we're gonna do now is I'm gonna sit on that exact same stool position. I'm not gonna move my stool. Um, let's put my camera in this lamp up here. Let's see how this looks. Maybe this won't work. Um, so we may have to use a tripod for this. We may have to use a tripod for this. Can we pull something off on my couch? Yes, we can. Hold on. Protein bar to the rescue. We're gonna prop the lens up. Hold on lads, we might have to use two protein bars for this one. Got two more protein bars just to be safe. All right, swag. Put it right there. We'll have it in focus. And then, um, camera wrapping, you know how it is. Tiny tapes for the team, tiny tapes two, tiny tapes is a channel. I think that shot's done. Now they had this really creative shot where it was just his lower body, which we can create by putting my camera ugh, on my other bar stool here. So I think if I just record it like this right here, I think if I just record it like this right here, we get holy feet anyways. So you guys gotta see my dogs like this. Head up like this, just to like 
And I'm wrapping like this to make it look like that no one's holding the camera. Boom, we have that shot right there. And then what should we do for the last one? Um, let's do some like Dutch like in behind. Like this. Hell yeah, we got our uh, creative Dutch angle here. And then we're gonna do the exact same thing. Holy fuck, I'm just, I should have wore socks in this video, bro. Oh my god. I'm nervous to see how this shit's gonna look. <laughs> um, let's pick our protein bars up off of our floor. By the way, I just fucking bought this plant today. You guys know how expensive plants are? This shit was a hundred dollars. Isn't that fucking crazy? Like, bro, why is a plant a hundred dollars? Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll anyways. <laughs> so we'll step into the office now and uh, we'll prop you guys up on my little setup here. You guys haven't seen this. This is, this is the new office. It's pretty sick. Anyways, I'm gonna prop you guys up here, turn my lights on and we'll hop into Premiere Pro and get this going. All right, so we're at the computer now. We're gonna pop these inside of Premiere Pro and get started on the look. I really hope you guys are enjoying this video. This is something a lot different than what I usually do, but I think it would be fun. It goes off my personality a little bit more. I'm not just a robot talking to the camera about how to effect it. Anyways, um, so what we're gonna do to get started that we have our footage in here. I kind of butchered the way it looks on some of them, but fuck it. We're just gonna go ahead and mess with it. All right, so we have all of our performance scenes inside of this one clip here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go inside of Photoshop here. We're going to create a new file. Let's make this 1920 by 1080 because fuck 4K for the sake of this tutorial. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to press Command Control Shift 4. Crazy keybind on Mac. I'm on Mac now, guys. We take a cropped screenshot of this. Um, if you're on Windows, so much easier, man. Why does Mac got to make this shit so complicated? Um, we're going to paste this inside of here and we're basically going to loosely follow the pattern of the way that the boxes are cut out here. You don't got to copy it. You can make it your own, but uh, this is just to loosely base it and to show you guys how you'll do it. So inside of Photoshop, you want to go down to the square rectangle tool, click and hold on it. You can change it to a rectangle if it's on something else. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go and basically go to the corner of this box where you think the lines would line up here. And you want to create your box. It doesn't have to be accurate. And now that we have our rectangle created, let's drag it above our layer, obviously. And then going to these corners and by clicking on the circle in the corner and dragging, you guys can make them rounded just like the video. So bada boom, bada bing. We have this one right here. And you could basically just do that for every single one of these. So I'm just going to do this super, super quickly. Obviously, take some more time on it when you guys do it yourself for your projects if you're looking to do this on a video. But just speed running this. Boom. And then what we'll do is we'll turn off the video. We have all these little cutout areas. And then what we're going to do is we're going to hold command and select all of them. And we are going to rasterize the layers and then merge the layers. Now that they're merged, we're going to double click on them, go to color overlay, hit OK. And then in the video, they kind of had like the background color, sort of a cream. So I'm going to go into color overlay on the background and we'll change that into sort of a cream by going to yellow and then looking for like a, a light cream color like that. Can't really tell it's cream. We can go a little bit more creamy if we want. Uh, maybe into like a blue kind of cream there. Anyways, what we're gonna do now, these are all pink for a reason. We're gonna go and we're gonna rasterize the layer style. Where's that? Uh, rasterize layer style. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go on to our magic wand tool, holding shift, click all of these, and then click on their background layer and hit delete. Turn this off. Boom, you guys will see that this is all cut out. Now, what we're gonna do is hit Command Option S on Mac. You guys know what it is on Windows. Go to PNG and we're gonna save that. 
save that and then we're going to open it inside of Premiere Pro. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to find video clips where it looks like I'm rapping and we're going to put them in here. And then we can just go inside just like this. And then go into effects, put on a crop, put a crop on the bottom layer, which is a video clip, and then just crop it to fit inside of the box here. And we're gonna do this with every single clip that we have. So I'm just gonna do that super quick and then we'll hop back into the coloring. Totally forgot to turn my camera on for this part. I know you guys have just been watching the screen recording. I'm sorry for that, but we are back. Totally messed up. Um, so what we're doing right now, like I said earlier, we're just putting crop on and fixing it. So they fit inside of the boxes. Got two more to go and then we're gonna hop right back in. Now to be clear, for all you haters, if you're gonna hate, Bro, I did this shit in like five minutes. I did not throw together a crazy fit like Yachty did. Like, look at this shit, bro. Like, I don't have the, the white background with the backdrop. This is just showing you guys what you can do and how they did it. I did not use a tripod. I used protein bars. Um, but yeah, here we have the effect there. Obviously, this main one here, I did not expose it properly compared to the rest of them. Picture them all properly exposed, please. <laughs> um... I'm going to go and turn. Maybe I can fix it here. Fuck it. We'll try. Um, it's not going to look great, though. I'll tell you guys that right now. Fuck. Yeah, like that looks terrible, but fuck it. We're putting a color grade on it anyways. So now to get the super clean color grade that they used in that video, we're going to use a lot for my ultimate love pack. Super quick, before we get any more into this video, I have to let you guys know about my editing packs presets. Over on my website, there are a ton of editing packs created by me for creators just like you. We have so many different effects and transitions over there that you guys can use on your projects to level them up instantly. We have everything ranging from fast and wood effects that allows you to add drag and drop shakes, hits, and wipes to your videos super easily. A LUT pack that contains over 285 different LUTs, drag and drop 3D effects that work on every single editing program that require no render time whatsoever and so many other different unique looks editing packs and styles that you guys can use to level up your visuals if you guys are stuck in an edit or you're just looking to take your videos to that next step for 2024 i highly recommend going over and checking out the site because there's something there for you but anyways let's hop right back into this so to put the LUTs on we're going to create an adjustment layer here we're going to drag and drop that on top of everything and then we're going to go into lumetric color open creative under look hit none and then to hit browse and then we're gonna go with a completely random LUT from the LUT pack here. Let's go with one of the film LUTs. Let's go with film four here. We're gonna go and do basic correction and make it look even more filmic by adding lots of green and lots of orange. Adding in some contrast, shadows, and some highlights back in. Where the fucking highlights at? Now to put the whole thing together, we're gonna go and nest all of these clips right here. Click on them. We're going to go and put Dehancer on it. If you guys don't know what Dehancer is, it's my favorite film emulation plugin. You guys can grab it down below. And if you use my code down there, you will save some money on it. Use this on every single one of my music videos to get the film look. You guys can see it already looks pretty sick there. Um, you can even turn off the adjustment layer and not even use my LUTs and use the ones that they have built into here. So you can just turn on Rec 709. And then under film, you can actually match this to your camera and match it to the picture profile that you shot in. I didn't shoot in SLOC 3, I just shot in Rec. 7 on my camera. But these are all actual film stocks they have programmed in here to turn your footage into. So I really recommend going and playing with these. But the main things you want to focus on is turning off print. And play with the film grain here or if you want to use your own film grain that that's your choice i recommend turning the amount down as you guys can see it's still there but it's not just crazy and then halation and bloom are your best friend in this plugin this is the main reason why i use it you get these uh red line effects that i'm sure you guys could see here anyways uh let's go into the metric color and like i said earlier we're gonna add some green some orange into this maybe turn the contrast up a bit the shadows down And I think this is pretty accurate, you know? Um, it doesn't look amazing, but for what I did and how fast I did it, 
Holy fuck, why am I a hunchback, bro? This is not good at all. Oh my god. Um, I think it's pretty sick for how it turned out and uh, how accurate this is because this is a high budget music video and this is me in my apartment doing this shit. Fast as fuck. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more videos just like this, leave a like, subscribe, check out this video right here. And I also have editing packs on my website. Holy fuck, that was a mouthful. Anyways, peace guys. I'll see you in the next video.